a lovely breakfast, courtesy of Danny. <laughs> Danny and I are going on a little museum day today. So this is my outfit. I'm probably gonna wear cowboy boots with it as well. Oh, TD. We're going to Kelvin Grove, we've just picked up a coffee and we're going to have a nice day at the museum because we're so arty and studious. I actually haven't been to Kelvin Grove in years but I used to go all the time when I was younger so I'm excited to go again. filmed anything since we got back from the museum but I thought I would show you some stuff I got from the gift shop. I did not get anything too exciting but I am pretty much incapable of going anywhere um, that has a gift shop and not buying something. I bought my mum this card because it's her birthday soon. She is obsessed with hairs so this had a hair in it and I was like I have to get this but then I read the back of it and it said when you finished with the card plant the f the whole card and a bunch of wild flowers will grow so I thought that was very cool and my mum's really into like gardening and sustainable stuff so I thought that this was great and then I also bought two postcards because I I'm planning on doing something with one of the walls in our room. So I've decided I want to make a little collage and I bought some pictures while I was in London. This angle is ridiculous. I bought two more at the museum today. I just bought this one, just thought it was quite nice. And then I got this one because Danny really likes this painting. It's called Sterling Station by William Kennedy. So I was actually worried to be honest that it was going to be a bit dark but he really liked this one. I was actually trying to look for a Monet one because they had a few Monet paintings at the museum but they didn't have any so I might just order like a print online. Obviously they're quite small so I'm not really sure. I'm not sure I might just do like a really small bit next to my bed and just put like some tiny like postcard size things up. Okay, there we go. 
Sorry the lighting is a bit crazy here, but I have just finished doing my makeup for dinner because Danny and I are going out to Ramen Dio on Ashton Lane, which I'm very excited about. I love ramen. But I haven't really filmed a lot today. I tried to take a couple talking clips earlier and I just feel like I I'm just so off my game with vlogging. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I cannot, like I don't know what to film. I feel like all the shots I take are terrible. And like when I go to edit, I'm just always not happy with it. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but I got a couple of packages today from Vinted. So I did want to show you them in a way. If you've watched any of my recent vlogs, I have about a haul in every single one of them. I usually just buy clothes from like charity shops and vintage, like all secondhand stuff. Um, but I don't know what's been going on recently. Like I feel like I've been buying more stuff from fast fashion places, which isn't great. I did end up actually sending quite a lot of stuff back from some fast fashion places that I bought stuff from because I... I'm trying to buy some stuff because Danny and I have a holiday in September and I'm trying to buy some stuff for that. So this lighting is just, okay, I'm just going to keep having to move. I think it's going to follow me, but this is what we're dealing with right now. I'm trying to be a bit more mindful with what I buy. I want to buy some stuff for my holiday, but also stuff that I know I'm going to wear when I get back. So. I just got a couple things from Vinted. I think I'm just gonna try not buy some stuff for a few weeks and maybe just like go charity shop shopping or something like that and see if I can pick up anything. I feel like I kind of just ranted a bit there. I don't know why I feel like I have to justify myself about it, but I have a couple things from Vinted. So the first thing I bought was this checked dress, just this checked midi dress. I saw one on Unif that I really really like, it's like £80 I'm pretty sure and then I saw this on Vinted and I thought I would pick it up. It's not exactly the same but it's still quite similar and I feel like I can also wear this as a skirt if I just put like a top or a jumper or something like that over, over the dress. And then I just got this jumper which I've already washed so it's quite wet right now but it's just this jumper that has pumpkins on it. I had to get this when I saw it because I love Halloween and I love autumn and I don't have any jumpers that show that. So I picked this up and I really like it. Obviously the place we're going is a bit warmer but I feel like you still need a jumper for these kind of things. So I got this and I feel like I can never have enough jumpers. I just tried this dress on and I'm actually not sure I like it. I feel like the shape is super unflattering. Like, I feel like it's giving maternity. So, I don't know. It's okay, but it's not exactly what I think I wanted. I tried to film this clip so many times and I just like don't know how to wood things but I'm not sure what the last thing I filmed for this vlog was. I think it must have been almost a week ago um, but since I filmed I had a pretty dramatic and traumatic week. Basically without getting into too much detail I quit my job which I had been planning on doing for a while so like that's fine. I'm happy about that. I didn't enjoy working there and I feel like it wasn't great for my mental health. Um, but the way it happened was not really what I had envisioned. Um, I won't get into it, but yeah, it was a bit a bit of a traumatic experience. Um, so obviously I wasn't feeling great. I feel like definitely a bit better about it and I feel like a bit of a relief. I think it just like, I needed a few days to kind of take in what happened and like accept it and stuff like that. I feel like I'm just sounding super dramatic right now but 
it was a pretty not great experience but then we went to edinburgh for Elle's birthday which was really fun except i lost my ring that my parents bought me for my 21st it was probably like one of the most special things i owned i wanted to like pass it down to my kids and stuff like that and i lost it <sighs> which is i cried for like a straight day about it but there's nothing I can do now really it was my fault I never wear it out when I'm drinking just in case I lose it um but I decided to wear it the other day because I was like oh it looks nice with my outfit and I'm not gonna lose it and then I did but today I'm gonna go to the jewelers that I got it from and see if by any chance they still stock it I'm not sure if they will because they are quite a small jewelers and I got it like over a year ago um but I'm trying to be hopeful about it. If they do have it, I'll obviously buy it again. It won't be great for my bank account, especially now that I am unemployed, but it's fine. I was only actually at that job as well. Um, I was only meant to be staying there until September because um, it was just like a summer job. So I haven't really missed out on like that much money from leaving now. And I would rather leave now, to be honest, if I was quite unhappy while I was working there so and now I get to focus a bit more on my YouTube because obviously I have not been very good at uploading basically this whole summer but I'm feeling a bit more positive now it's a new week I'm gonna go to this jewelers and hope for the best and afterwards I need to go and sit in my sister's flat because her and her boyfriend are both gonna be out and they've got like a work person coming to do repairs so I'm gonna sit in her flat hi vlog Okay, now we need to go make lunch. but this is what I was wearing. I also had some black loafers on. These are my new jeans that I think I showed. I don't know if it's in this video or another one. I don't know if they're a bit big, um, but they're very comfortable. But I think I'm just not really a jeans kind of person, so I feel like it's weird to see myself in jeans because I never wear jeans. But they're very comfortable, I will say that. Danny just got back from the jewelers and it's not terrible news. They don't recognize the ring. But they're gonna try and find it and see if another one was made which now i'm seeing it like what are the chances another one was made and it didn't sell because i got it like may 2021 i think but not awful news i'm trying to be hopeful and also i was thinking even if they don't have the exact same ring maybe if i bought one from like if the person who made it made other rings then it's still by like the same person i'm not sure I'm trying to feel okay about it. I know it's just like an object, but obviously it had a lot of sentimental value, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll get back to us and maybe find it. I don't know. So I'm gonna sit on the couch and watch something. Maybe Twilight. It's quite a gloomy day, so I feel like it's kind of Twilight, Twilight vibes. Now you ask me what I want to do for my birthday. I don't know if I can be asked going out for tea. I kind of want to as well. We've decided just to go out for a drink tonight. I feel like whenever I vlog, we always <laughs> drink at some point. Um, oh, because we do it quite a lot. But <laughs> We don't drink that much, no, I no, promise. No. Danny got me this top at Christmas and I've never worn it because I never felt like it really matched anything that I have, but I feel like it goes well with these jeans for like a nice casual outfit. Time. Yeah, boy. 
I was still quite hungry, so I bought this ramen pot on the way home. <laughs> we have already played Trev in this vlog, but that was filmed over a week ago, so. The three astronauts on the first floor landing machine. 